Alright guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We've got Sam with us tonight. Oh, yeah. And what we got is some cheap old shrimp and lobster traps. And we're going fishing with the rods as well. And hopefully in between we can catch something cool, eh mate? Yeah, that'd be nice. Hopefully a nice big bag of prawns. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! As you can see, guys, we've got the tiny little shrimp ones. And then we went out and brought some cheap lobster ones. And these are quite big as well. What we got is some fresh goldfish here. Uh, big popsicles and that's what we're going to use as bait because it's really uh, stinky uh, all the prawns are going to be put into the live well and we may even use some for bait yeah hey mate maybe and we'll we see. also got some fresh ragworm we've got old lead and what we've done is just created a flat base for these to sit on so when they're at the bottom they won't be rolling around and all we've got is a nice old cable tie just like so I'll get another one there and we're going to do that to two big ones and then we've just got a piece of iron that we're going to put in the little ones. What we're doing guys we've got some really bright glow sticks here because uh shrimps and prawns are attracted to light and what we've got is a piece of wire in here so we're just gonna put the glow stick glow sticks on and uh, we're going to do a little experiment to see if that makes any difference to the catches of prawns so we won't put any in the big ones we're going to put two glow sticks well one each in each of these that's the uh, part all, all presented there we've got a nice bit of garfish Hopefully, it brings us some snacks. <laughs> the Sam's going out. <laughs> nice. I like the way they sink straight down like that. Yeah, all weighted at the bottom. Yeah, perfect. Come on, you shrimps. We've just got the uh, glowy ones to go now. These rocks are really slippery, so we've got to be a bit careful. Because we could drop the camera down as well. <laughs> Check this out, guys. We found a massive hole in the rocks here. And it's really deep, so we're going to drop one of the glow ones down there. Do, 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 do. Go on, Sam. Do, 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 do. Shrimp Master 10,000. Do, do, do. The final pot's going out. Cannonball. The bait we got tonight, guys. We got some beautiful, fresh ragworm. Check that out. And what we got is just flapper rigs, size 10 hooks. And just for anything really, a flatty or maybe a conga or bass, red mullet, we could catch anything. And these are the perfect size worms for this as well. So we're going to put one of these on a hook and hopefully get something nice to eat. Look at some crabs. We've got one lady crab so far. Not big enough to eat, that's for sure. There we go. Flawless. One male lady crab. It's quite soft as well. <laughs> nice as no stuff down here. Zilch. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. On to the next one. We'll be seeing you. <laughs> I got a conga. No way. <laughs> there we go, guys. <laughs> Next species of the day, we got a conger eel. <laughs> How are we going to get it out? I don't know. <laughs> Still no shrimps in there though. Conger's probably eating them all. Yeah. There you go, guys. Nice size conger eel there. It's going to go back fine. Look at that. <laughs> Didn't expect that one, eh, mate? No. Look at the colours on that. Really pretty fish. Whoa. Oops. <laughs> right, quick flick. There we go. Straight back here, guy. Come on, Sam. We need to see some prawns. Oh, oop. We got no bait. Conga. Oh, oh we got a prawn. We got a prawn. We got another prawn. <laughs> oh, we got another one. We got two. Oh, we're getting the prawns, guys. Hell yes. yes. This is what we wanted. Right, the bait's in the bag, so I'll go get you a bit of bait, mate, and uh, you can get those in the bucket. Here we go guys, got the live well going. We got nice sized prawns in there. 
Nice that we finally seen them, eh? Yeah. We've seen a giant fish in one of the holes as well. We think it's a wrasse. What happened there? Oh, look at that. Oh, split. Conga. Conga tore its pieces. <laughs> and that's why we don't buy cheap traps, because oh, uh, no. Congas destroy them. And then there was three. <laughs> it's going in my pot. The size of that eel, guys. That's a beast. That's a double figure eel. Look at its tail. <laughs> it's going in my pot. <laughs> Do you reckon he's not going to get caught in there, surely? I'm going to wait a minute. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, he's coming up here. Look at his tail. He's trying to get in. See if he'll go in and then we'll pull it up quick. That might be the one you saw before in the hole. Maybe. It's a big eel. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at the size of it, mate. That's huge. He's trying to get in the pot. There's this two giant eels, guys. And I think there's a big one in it. He's got his head in. Wow! That's massive. They're both 15 pounds for sure. Yeah, they're massive. The battle wounds on that tail there. He's a beast. That's a big one there. That's oh, look very... at the tail. Yeah, look at the tail on that. Look there, guys. I don't know if you can see these. We've got two giant eels There's here. There's one just laying there. Look, he's going in your crab pot, mate. Wow, see. those are beasts. That's a big eel. A very big eel. Got to be quick. Look at that. That's a big eel, that one. <laughs> oh, look at the size of that. That's a big eel. Look at that, and there was two giants there, guys. I mean giants. A lot bigger than that. Yeah, absolutely massive. What we're going to do, we're going to quickly flip this one out, and we're going to go get some bait, guys. This is a big shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the shrimp pin went out the window. Size of it. Look at that. That's huge, That's right. Uh, just unzip it and pour it out, mate. Look at that guys, hold it there a sec mate, look at that conga, that's probably a five or six pound eel there, and the other two were massive, one of them was just ridiculous, he's down here look, massive eel, there we go, <laughs> there's one down, alright let's go get his grandma, we've gone full primitive mode now guys, and what we've got is a conga trace on with an 8-0 hook tied to a hand line, Sam's got one as well. And what we're gonna do is, because we've got a little bit of bait there, we are just gonna get a chunk each, just like so. And that's what we're gonna try and hook them with. We were not prepared to see giant eels tonight. Not prepared at all. So there we go, that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna drop these down the side of the holes and hopefully, we're going to find one of those giants and may maybe get you a show of it, eh? Hopefully, mate. This is going to be an adrenaline rush. <laughs> oh, that's another nice one there. There's some huge eels down here, eh? Here he comes. Here he comes. Hold on. Hold on. <gasps> Look at him. Look at the scars on his head. Look at this one. Look, guys. I hope you can see this. I'm bringing my bait up to him. Look. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Get ready. Oh. Oh. oh, I missed him. Look at him. Look. Oh, he got my bait. No. Right. Yeah, I went straight into the wall. They're everywhere. Look at this, guys. There's huge congas just swimming around. They're everywhere. And they're beasts. Yeah, make sure you don't catch them close to the rocks, mate, because they're going to uh, they're gonna swim straight in. Yeah, you got one coming for you there. Yeah? Look at that one there. Big one. Look at that one. Oh, That's a 20. That's it, we'll try and bring them out. Look at them, they're huge. Look at the size. They're attacking the, the uh, crab pot. They're huge. Oh, oh you missed him. No. Unlucky, mate. That one's coming right up there. Oh, he snapped my hook. Oh, How? no way. How? That's a big eel, man. Some of these guys, this is no exaggeration. These eels are massive. Look, Look at, at that. The size of it. He's just cruising down there. Look at that. And they're just hunting around for something to eat. Wow. We've got to get one. Check that out, guys. We've got 20 pound plus conga eels just swimming around our feet right now. This is, this is ridiculous. Never seen anything like this before. Whoa, I fell hooked one. 
Look at the size of that! Oh my god! He just swam straight into my line, guys. Look at that! That's a beast of a conga. Oh. Look at that on a hand line right there. Now he's just hooked as well. I hope he don't pop off. But there are some bigger ones than this. This one's going to be a catch and cook, baby. Hell yeah. Look at the size of that. And there's more swimming around. There's some giant eels here. Can't believe I foul hooked him. <laughs> right, I need to... Uh, there's another eel just swimming there. Look at that, guys. Just swimming around. 20 pound plus. Oh my god. Right, I'm going to dispatch this eel now, guys, because everyone's been asking for a conga catch and cook. So what I'm going to do is dispatch him, and hopefully we can hook a couple more to show you. Look at the size of that fish, guys. That is a brute of a conga eel right there. I've dispatched him as quick as I can, because I didn't want to uh, leave him suffer. That is a beauty, and I've never caught one on a hand line like that before. There you go, guys. That's got to be 15, eh? Yeah. I'll give that 15 easy. A really heavy eel, lovely size, perfect for eating that. And everyone always used to ask us why we never kept the congas, because they weren't big enough. See, this is about the minimum size that we would take for a catch and cook. So beautiful. What a cracking fish, eh? Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> There's a giant eel down here, guys. Maybe it, oh, there he is. Look, look. See his head poking out? He's looking for it. You can smell it. Here he comes. Look at the size of that eel. That's bigger than the last one. Get ready, Sam. He's gonna he's eating it. He's eating it. Oh no to you. Ready? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of that bad boy! <laughs> you right? Yeah, I got him, I got him. It's a tug of war, baby. Oh my god. They give me burn on my hands. Look at the size of that fish. What an absolute beast. <laughs> Guys, give me burn on my hand. And he's hooked just in the nose as well. Oh, look at that. What a beast. I'll just hand the camera to Sam, guys, and I'll get you a better show. Look at that. That's about, I'd say, an easy 18 pound, that one. That's it's a, a lot beast. fatter than I thought. That's huge. I'm struggling to keep him up. He's absolutely massive. The thing with these fish is they can swim backwards. Oh, look at the size of that. That's every part of five foot long, that, eh, Sam? Yeah, that's, that's a nice one. Mate. That's definitely a nice one. Beauty, I'm not going to keep him out for too much longer now, guys. He hit, perfectly hooked, no bleeding. But that's the sort of congas we want. These are the winter congas. When they come in, they come in force and there's more around us. <laughs> there you go. Check that out. What a beast. <sighs> he's off. Look at that, straight back into the rocks. Oh, he's down here. Woo! And what I will say, guys, don't try and do this. We're doing this just because it was spur of the moment. Uh, if you look, these fish pull hard. They pull very hard. <laughs> So yeah, they will cut you to ribbons, so just be very careful, okay? But um, just enjoy the video. <laughs> Here we go, guys. This is what happens when Guernsey Congas get older. We fixed it, and look at that. It's deformed, it's completely mashed to pieces. We wanted the bait out of it, but these Congas are destroying us. <laughs> right, let's get the rest in, Sam. We totally forgot about the last wheel, uh, the last pot, sorry. <laughs> so we're just pulling it up now. And we got more bait. We've got more bait. Yes, we got a whole head there as well. There's a crab on the side. <laughs> That's the only one without a hole in. Sound. So we got a bit more bait now, guys. So we're going to chum up a little bit, squish this bait, and then chuck it out. And hopefully, we're going to get Sam a beast. We've just left it on top of the rock here. So all the scent washes through these gaps. And hopefully, we can entice that giant one out. Because uh, we've seen an absolute beast. And hopefully, we can get him. <laughs> And you see, these have all been distorted, ripped to pieces. We've got one crab pot that hasn't got a hole in. These are completely trashed. This one's not too, too bad. Just a bit of a hole in the bottom. We've never seen anything like it. Giant eels like that. And there was 
what four or five at one point loads down there all loads. of them over over 15 to 35 pounders they were massive check this out guys we put the crab pot in and look at that that's a 20. that's got to be a 20 eh sam look at the size of that that is a big look how close you are to it yeah he's just they just don't care about the light or anything these are huge eels and there is like i can't believe how many as well this one's gonna be sam's go on my boy <laughs> that's a that's a 30. it's got to be <laughs> now we'll leave the uh, crab pot for a minute because uh if you dip, i reckon dangle your bait look at that guys look how close i am to that eel look at the size of it yeah that is massive and there's a 25 pounder just over there but this is something unheard of you don't see this this is crazy these eels are massive and look at him going for the uh, crab pot get your bait out there sam get that big one. <laughs> oh, that big one mate oh i hope you get it they're just hounding it i hope you can see this all right in the camera guys but these eels are giants and look they're just there smooching around i've got to be careful where i'm putting my line as well they've come out of nowhere it's going into the pot look <laughs> this is crazy look at that oh look at that you see the head on that one that is huge conga do you want to get him out of the hole sam oh, the big one. this is the big one no, this is the oh big oh no that is the big one. Oh my big, god this is like six foot mate yeah i forgot about that one <laughs> size of that eel just in the crab pot <laughs> that's a 20 plus eel right there oh i reckon we could catch him in the crab pot we probably could he swim backwards though look at that that is mental Touch him, Sam. I want to. Oh, look, look. <laughs> he freaked out. Is it? Look, it's, it's pull the pull the wheel quick. Oh, he's caught on it. Is he still on it? Nah. <laughs> here he comes. Get him, Sam. Get him. Look at the size of him. Look, here we go. Oh, he missed it. Oh. Look at that, guys. <laughs> We're just sitting here with giant eels all around us. Look at the size of it though. And I could drop my bait in right now and catch this one, but we want Sam to get one. He's more interested in the crab pot though, eh mate? Yeah. Hoping I can get him to go the other way. They just, they, look, shows how much you cannot spook conger eels. Oh, there we go. Here we go, Sam. Come on, he's coming for it. He's coming for it. Oh, he wants the, the, uh, the net. yeah, he's right in there after it, eh? Look at him putting his head in. Do you reckon I could pull him up? Wait a minute, wait for him to get a bit further in. Look at this, guys. Look, 20 pound deal. Look, he's gonna freak out in a minute. He's he's halfway in there. <laughs> Look at it. It's not even phased. He's not phased one bit by us. Not one bit. We're using long nose as bait as well. Garfish. Pull him slowly if he bites it, alright? I can't see it. I can see his head. He's backing up again. He's backing up. He's going to get it in a minute. He's backing up. Hold on tight. Oh, swim past it. Pull it up slowly and see. Yeah, it's in his mouth. Is it? Yeah. Pull slowly. Go. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's quite a tame one, this one. Look at the size of that bad boy. He's massive. <laughs> That's a 20-pound eel. Yeah, easy 20-pound. <laughs> Look at that, guys. On a hand line. <laughs> The good thing about this, you only hook them in the side of the mouth, so they all go back fine, eh? That's another 20. That's a 20 for sure. Easy. Look at the thickness of that. Yeah, beauty. We both had a 20 pounder. We got about a 14, 15 up there. <laughs> there we go, guys. Look at the size of that. That's Sam's 20 pound eel right there. That's a beast. We'll call it 20 all day long. Yeah. Hooked perfectly in the side of the jaw, no blood. That's what we want because we're going to release it because there is an absolute monster down here and we're going to try and catch that. You know. All right, yeah. Do you want to chop the line over, mate? All right. 
Right, just take the slack up. That's it. There we go. Beautiful. Hooks out. Conga's gone. I've got a soak. And look at the size of that one. That's a beast just sitting there. <laughs> Let's go get him. <laughs> We're just sitting around with giant eels. This is a one-off. You don't see this every day. So his head right in there as well. Look at that. This is so fun to see. Gotta keep an eye out with my bait in the water because a big one can come out of nowhere. Oh look, he's having a he's ripping it to pieces at the moment. There's a monster down here, guys, right in this little crack of the rock. That's 30, That's, That's a 30 all day long, mate. That is huge. Hoping we can entice him out. Come on, he can Look smell at it. The size of that. The head on that. Look at it. That is massive. I don't know if you can see that in there, guys. That's a big eel right there. I think he might turn around. Where's he going? Come on. He's reversing a bit. Oh, he's just, he's coming for it, he's coming for it. He's coming. You can smell it. Oh my God, look at the size Here he comes, that. guys. He's in the hole, come on. Oh, look at it. That's massive. That's a beast. That's a big eel. He can smell it. He knows it's there. Yeah. I'm trying to bring it close to him. He's coming right up, eh? I can literally touch him. Yeah. His nose is almost... Oh, look at him! Look at the size of that head! Look at that! He's, he's out of the water! Yeah. Look at this, guys. Let's see if he takes it, look. You can smell it, you can smell it. Ah! Here we go, here we go. Oh, look at the size of that! It's a big one! <laughs> <laughs> That's a beast! <laughs> Hooked him right in the nose as well, eh? Oh, Look at the size of that. That is long. 30 all day, mate. That is a beast. Look at the size of this fish, guys. That is huge. Right in the side of the jaw. I'm going to get Sam the camera. I'm going to get you a better show. Woohoo! <laughs> there we go, there's a knife. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. <sighs> Look at the size of that, guys. That's what you call a conga eel. That is grandma. I'm six foot one. And that's what? every part of what, five and a half foot, I reckon? Definitely. With the tail straight? Definitely. That's a beautiful fish right there. That's the ones you want to catch. <laughs> you got it all in, mate? I got it all. Does it look good? It looks amazing. Awesome. Let's get a release. <laughs> Man, the stomach on that. That's, that's a massive eel. That is huge. Massive. All on hand lines, guys. That's, that's stuff that we want to fish for. That's smash fishing, baby. And we were meant to be getting shrimps. <laughs> right, let's get him on hook. Look how fish in his mouth. Right. Hold on, mate. Ugh. Straight back it goes, my arm's dead. What a beast. What a beast. That eel's going to be totally fine, guys. Look at that. Bent an 8 0 cox and roll hook. Slightly bent outwards. Look at that, guys. My hands are all bruised now. <laughs> that, that was amazing. That was incredible. <laughs> Never done that before in my life. Hand lining the eel straight out of big boulders. What an awesome catch. We haven't seen any more yet. We know there is more, but we've run out of bait. So what we're going to do is pack the crab pot up now. We're going to go enjoy some conger, eh, mate? Hell yeah. Yum. So there you go, guys. We've gutted the conger. We didn't really want to put that on camera. And what was in its stomach was our bait out of the crab pots that it destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how, how we like to prep these is just behind the fins here. You can cut straight down. 
through the backbone just like so that is great pot bait that so we keep that and every sort of inch or so it's so every couple of vertebrae you can just cut it down just like so and there you have you clean it up a little bit lovely conga steaks really chunky meat it is obviously we're going to wash this off a little bit better but and that is it lovely steaks there really chunky meat they do have a few bones in but um for the most part they're very meaty oh, let's get a nice chunky one there we go that's a better one i say about that thick and all that meat you can see the bone structure here You've got one set of bones coming out like so, one like that, one like that. So they are very hard fish to fill it, but lovely and just steaks like this. And uh, this is going to be the best part on the meat, so I'm going to save this and keep it. And all the rest, the head and this part is all going to be uh, pot bait. Look at that. Good note is don't put your finger in there because it can still bite sometimes. The nerves and stuff. Look at that evil mouth and the teeth on them. Very small, but the muscles from the jowls here create so much pressure for them to tear things off that, uh, yeah, it could do some damage. All right, we've got all of our meat here, guys. We were not expecting to cook conga tonight, so we're just working with what we got. What I'm gonna do is season them well with black pepper and garlic salt. We got a nice dollop of butter in the pan. Beautiful. This is the only clean surface we have as well, so we're working with what we got tonight. A little bit of garlic powder. Beautiful. And we actually had some lemons left over in our cooking bag, so once these are all fried up, we'll get some nice lemons on them. Yum. this in a while it's been ages though yeah i've got a top of a saucepan lid and he's got his chisel box as a plate <laughs> uh, take your pick mate that big one looks a beast oh yeah check that out guys lovely crisp on the outside and uh, it's quite a it's quite a meaty fish conga it's quite surprising and there is a few bones so you've got to be a little bit picky with it but it comes out in little nuggets and it tastes really good. Oh, I haven't had that in a while. It's been a long time, eh? Very similar to lobster, eh? Mm. Just a bit softer. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Gotta have the sweet chilli sauce. Yum. You want some, mate? Yeah, go for it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And it just pops off. Little nuggets of it. It's been weird. Going out after <laughs> shrimps and prawns and that and then catching 30 pound congas. Yeah, with a handline. With a handline. <laughs> Such a weird one. Like, we were not getting any shrimps. We had two the whole time. And then the big congas turned up and trashed everything we've had. We got one crab pot left with uh, no holes in. <laughs> Three of them got annihilated. But we got our revenge. Mmm. <laughs> mm. I forgot how good yeah. conga was. Is such a meaty fish mm -hmm. very underrated I think it's because of the the bones are like a, a three-way yeah. like that eh? so people get a bit put off mm -hmm. by it but with steaks like that you can just pull it apart bones out. yeah mm. there you go 
guys you can see the little pin bones there yeah it's quite surprising but really easy to pick apart very meaty fish and this is very cheap at a, uh, any sort of fishmongers this is a very cheap fish to buy mm. oh. surprisingly tasty as well because it's not exactly a very nice looking fish really no it? but that's the thing there's all the slime and you know yeah but very tasty yeah Guernsey butter definitely, oh, you definitely, know, yeah. helps. It's not often we catch uh, congas over the legal size limit, which for Guernsey is 1.2 meters. Exactly. So uh, exactly that. This is the first one we've had in a little while now, eh? So yeah, it's been slow in a lot of spots, eh? It's been very difficult this year, I think. Yeah, and then we suddenly come here, and it's absolutely jam-packed with them. <laughs> Such a weird night. Oh, still a bit really? like, what just happened? <laughs> there guys we're gonna tuck in and finish the rest of this well, whatever's left anyway <laughs> got a lot of cars pulling up so stay tuned for the next episode uh, we might do another video like this soon eh, mate maybe, maybe come down with a chum bag maybe. full of oil you never know and hopefully we can get that giant one we didn't get the actual monster that was there there was bigger there was way bigger eh? yeah so stay tuned if you want any merch the links in the description if you want to check out Sam's Instagram or his YouTube channel the links in the description the smash fishing, baby! Woo! I want that nugget there, look. Oh, damn. It is very similar to lobster. It is, really, yeah. Yeah. Not as tasty as lobster, but like the meat. Very resembles mm -hmm. it. Mmm.